The internet outrage engine coughed up plumes of coal as it spun up to maximum RPM a few weeks ago, this time targeting Noctua's fans after receiving a few different requests to look into manufacturing quality difference between Noctua fans made in China and Taiwan. We managed to bring in a fair sample size to measure linear feet per minute airflow through the radiator, DBA output, PWM range, and a couple of other things. We also got to see for ourselves that the two fans have visible color differences ranging from off beige to weather worn off beige. So today we're looking at the differences between the two sources of origin for the fans to see if they matter. Before that, this is brought to you by EVGA's CLC 280 liquid cooler for CPUs, which we previously benchmarked and found to be a high performer given its relative silence to the temperature output. Learn more about this $140 cooler at the link in the description below. The original Reddit post that sparked all of this came because a user ordered fans from Noctua, a lot of them, and some of them came from Taiwan, some came from China, and they're marked on the boxes made in Taiwan or made in China. If you look at the fans, there's a slight color variation between them. One of them is actually, as much as it's easy to joke about, is a slightly more off beige than the other one. Uh, so the China-made fans have darker blades, the housing is a slightly different color, and in the original post, there were some concerns over whether the cooling quality, the noise output quality, we'll call it, would be the same between the two fans, with generally the expectation being in that Reddit thread that the Taiwan-made fans would be superior to their China-made counterparts. So we spoke to Noctua about this a bit after we got some initial testing done, and uh, this stack of fans over here, most of them, are from the original Reddit poster who made the thread on build a PC. So we were, we were able to test those. And then this stack of fans uh, is about, is probably 80% of my current collection of fans between Noctua directly buying them on eBay to make sure we could get the right China or Taiwan fans and then sourcing them elsewhere. So we have a decent sample size. I'll warn you now, we got most of the way through testing them before I basically said, okay, this is, this is enough data as you'll see momentarily. But, uh, so the thing is, it looks like this is an issue where primarily on the visible side, we're looking at pigment differences, maybe differences in where Noctua or their factory more appropriately sourced the plastic or the pigment or whatever they use to color the fans. Being in different countries, different factories, it's possible that they didn't use exactly the same color, which if you're gonna complain about it, that's a fine thing to complain about. Perhaps Noctua should have noticed, but ultimately you're looking at color matching this and trying to see differences between them. If you can, sure, it's, you know, be careful when you're buying them, I suppose. That's what it comes down to. Now, in terms of quality differences, that's where we come in. So we did anemometer testing for linear feet per minute, which we're calling FPM here, or LPM if you prefer. And that was using a Kraken X42 radiator as basically an airflow straightener, but it also just because it's a standard type of object that you would use that would create a need to have static pressure performance. So we use that. And then we're also looking at decibel performance at 20 inches from the fan and radiator combination. And then we're looking at PWM range at 100% down to 20% where there's normal variance anyway. We'll talk about that more in a moment. The main fans we're looking at in this content piece are going to be the NF-A14s, the 140 millimeter static pressure fans. And then we do have the NF-F12s, the 120 millimeter ones, but as you'll see from the A14s, they really kind of sum things up. And the A14s in the original Reddit post did actually have more visible differences and other marketing aspects of the fan design than would be present in the and FF12s because they just have fewer features on them. So some of those include what Noctua calls flow acceleration or stepped inlet designs, things like that. These are typical marketing names for small optimizations made to a product that may or may not improve performance. There's really no easy way to tell without getting an A-B test going where you have one that's just bare. Uh, what you're looking at more is normally the motor in the fan, normally the fan blade design rather than the housing where you're looking at these tiny triangular indents on the inside of the housing. But to be fair, they do look a bit different between Taiwan and China, and some of that comes down to the mold. So Noctua tells us that they have a new mold that they made for the China factory. They also told us, let me get this right, that their fans have more or less always come from both China and Taiwan, uh, but that the same model is rarely made in both locations, at least simultaneously. So this recently changed because Noctua needed to tool up to meet demand, and 
the injection mold toolings were made new at the China location. We were also told that the fans have primarily been produced in China, these models, over the last few years, so it's actually impossible right now for us to get stock of the Taiwan fans from Noctua directly. They don't have them. We had to find them elsewhere. Uh, so if you do end up with a fan from each location, you're probably buying stock that a retailer has had for a little while. That's what it comes down to. Let's get into the testing. As always, more information in the description in the article below if you want to read about the testing. But we can blow through this one pretty quickly because it's really just a couple of fan tests. We are not focusing on temperature testing because there are a million variables and any differences you see there are going to be because of things like Prime95 de deciding to change its power cycling or whatever software you're using doing something different or what, any amount of small things. What makes far more sense to do is test the airflow, which we're doing with an anemometer and a hot wire, so linear feet per minute is our measurement, uh, through a radiator ideally, so you have a static pressure, uh, some, something that would benefit from static pressure optimized fans. And then the other aspect is decibels, and we can look at PWM range, but temperatures don't really matter because it follows that if your airflow is the same, then your temperature should be the same with variables from the CPU and the motherboard notwithstanding. Let's first talk PWM to set the stage. PWM fan control varies from fan to fan and fan manufacturing differences mean that your top end and low end RPM is going to change between units. Doesn't matter if it's Noctua or someone else. The same is true for water pumps and is true across the industry in general. In general, PWM variants can be up to 15% between fans. So you really wanna fix the fan speeds if testing differences in frames and blades and things like that, since otherwise you're just testing normal PWM variants. Noctua noted to us that PWM to RPM response typically varies by 1-4% to in their product, something that we can validate, with a tolerance of 10% in PWM range. Pretty standard. This means a few things. One, you need a larger sample size of fans to test. We have a decent sample size, but it is by no means 100% conclusive. We can draw some pretty good conclusions from it, however, and it also means that you really want to fix those RPMs. If testing with PWM fan speed percentages, the numbers are going to be all over the place. It's not a reliable way to do things, and We'll start there anyway and move on to testing that shows at a fixed RPM. We're also looking at PWM range to see if the China-made or Taiwan-made fans are consistently lower or higher in RPM. Here's a line plot showing RPM on the vertical axis versus PWM signal on the horizontal axis. The fans are all close to one another with normal variances dictating the differences. Averaged across all tested fans and PWM ranges, we found a difference of 2.5% in RPM to PWM response between fans with no particular favor shown toward China or Taiwan manufacturing. Note again that we were limited by sample size to about eight fans tested, so we can't make sweeping statements that this will always be true, but with our sample size, which is a decent amount, we can say that it is true. We see no significant difference between region of origin with these fans, and again, variance in PWM signal to response is normal anyway. Adjusting PWM speed by plus or minus 1% will often allow RPMs to match, as we'll do in a moment, and here's a look at a table of just some of the RPMs at each PWM range to better illustrate the point numerically. This variance is normal between all fans and is not a product of being made in China versus Taiwan. Continuing on with PWM points for a minute, here's a chart showing noise levels at the varying PWM ranges, keeping in mind that fan RPM changes between fans at each percentage. At 100% PWM, our DBA range is 42.8 to 43.6, so a little bit less than 1 DBA. Not noticeable and more or less within our accuracy anyway. 90% posts a range of 40.6 to 41.4 dBA, 80% is 38.2 to 39.1, with no particular benefit on the China or Taiwan made fans in general. There's no pattern forming. That said, one single fan from the China manufacturing plant sent by the Reddit original poster did generally perform about 1 dBA louder than the quietest fan, which is more than we can say for most of the others, which were a bit more consistent. This continues scaling down and the fans get closer as we go with our ability to test halting at around the 27 to 28 dBA area. Let's fix the RPM levels to get a better idea of performance. Manually setting fan speed in BIOS to match 1400 RPM or 1000 RPM, we end up with the numbers on screen now. At 1400 RPM, every fan, regardless of country of origin, is within fractions of a decibel of 41 dBA. The differences here are imperceptible to the human ear. You would not be able to identify one to the next in a blind test. Although we did not produce a frequency spectrum plot, we did not notice significant differences in fan frequency output from a subjective standpoint. At 1000 RPM, every fan is within plus or minus 0.5 dBA of 33 dBA, making them again effectively identical in noise levels. We did not subjectively notice differences in frequency spread at this RPM either. 
Moving on next to linear feet per minute testing with an anemometer logging over a period of several minutes using the X42 radiator as a flow straightener and then averaging the end of the results strain. Here's a look at linear FPM response to PWM signal. Again, keep in mind that PWM signal doesn't mean much. The fan RPMs are not the same, so performance is different as a result of RPM changing, not necessarily as a result of the fan body manufacturing quality. We'll look at that aspect next. Linear feet per minute will be abbreviated as FPM for this section. FPM posts a difference of plus or minus 2% from 20% to 100% PWM in 10% intervals, with no favor shown toward Taiwan or China-made fans. Again, our difference here stems from PWM to RPM response variant, which is within normal manufacturing parameters. We're averaging around 515 to 520 FPM at 100% duty cycle with the A14 fans, about 460 to 477 FPM at 90%, and so on down the line. All results are fairly tight and tied together. At a fixed fan speed of 1400 RPM, the numbers are largely the same across the board. The only standout is the first Taiwan-made fan, which technically plots 6 FPM lower that results than average at this RPM, but this is within our test margins. Without extreme equipment, we really can't dig deeper than this, and as far as our testing is concerned, these are all effectively equal and will produce indistinguishably different thermal results given the proximity in FPM. Differences in thermal testing would stem more from variables in a CPU test than from fans, just like normally. At 1000 RPM, it's more of the same story. We're close enough in performance to write this off as more or less equal. Greater test resolution and controls would be required to plot differences reliably, at which point you're exiting what a user would ever reliably or reasonably detect anyway. So it's no longer a scenario which is entirely relevant to this matter. Speaking regionally, there is no pattern between the two sources and all the fans are more or less equal. They are functionally equivalent in performance. So we're not seeing any real difference between the fans that we have. We tested all of these and most of these didn't get to the NFF12s because it just it wasn't necessary and they weren't the source of the concern anyway. Because after we had all that data, you're basically looking at plus or minus 2% in the most extreme cases and basically zero when you match the RPMs. And this is where it boils down to a couple of uh, comments about the internet and about Noctua's position. Noctua has an interesting challenge. They have positioned themselves as a, a supremely accurate and high quality company when it comes to fans specifically, and they are fighting their own reputation here by having a small bit of variance between more or less color, which probably triggered looking into the other smaller aspects of the fan and the housing design Noct was in a position where these small changes are perceived as probably a whole lot worse than they actually are. And that's because it diverges so strongly from their brand perception. Now, does it matter that these changes or these differences are present? Not in performance. We couldn't find any noise levels. Our sample size, although pretty damn good, is obviously not representative of the whole. So it's possible that there are bad, bad fans out there. One of the China made fans did have about one dba consistently higher output than the other fans so there's going to be variance there will always be that one off product that just didn't come off the line quite right but we're not really seeing a lot of that here so uh, they're fighting their own reputation is what it comes down to and then as far as the original reddit thread it was great that the original user noticed those differences it is great as always, to report those differences like the user did and make the thread to bring awareness to the problem, get people who have the means to test this stuff to actually try and test it and see if there is a problem. That's all good. Uh, what I would like to see more caution around is maybe the relating the reply comments below it where people immediately jump on the uh, boycott bandwagon or the, oh my God, I can't believe they did this. They're outsourcing to China bandwagon when we really need a much more level head to look at this kind of stuff. Because a lot of the time, the answer is they just, they, they switched factories or they switched molds. And that happens every day. You probably don't notice it normally. Noctua got noticed. And for that, they have at least briefly been punished. But uh, we don't see a reason for them to need that punishment. So from what we've seen here, not a big difference. If someone else happens to find fans that between China and Taiwan do show major differences, please let us know. Tweet at us at GamersNexus. Make sure you check your PWM signal to, to RPM response to make sure that you're not just actually measuring differences between PWM 
speeds because that's pretty common. So if you've equalized your RPMs, you should be able to get a decent test between the two. Feel free to let us know if you find a significant difference. If you do, we can revisit. But again, everything we've seen here, it looks like not a big deal. Perhaps you could bop Noctua on the nose for changing their color. Uh, they have told us that they're looking into that and hoping to get things more uh, standardized, normal off beige instead of off beige and slightly more off beige in the future. I don't think they use those exact words to describe their colors, but you get what I'm saying. So thank you for watching. As always, you can go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus to help us out directly. You can pick up a shirt like this one, the Gianna Anniversary shirt on gamersnexus.squarespace.com and subscribe for more. We'll see you all next time. Deeper look at the other small aspects of the card, like, or the card. <laughs> I work on fucking video cards all the time. <laughs>